Alright, what's up guys? We are back with Attack on Titan Chapter 95 Liar. Um so yeah, let's let's get into it. We're starting off with, with the Gabby and, and Reiner walking through the streets. Um so yeah, let's get in. Uh good morning, Captain Braun. Uh good morning. Hurrah for our warriors. Hello there, cute little warrior. We all have high hopes for you. Thank you. I love the <laughs> This is really cute. Like seeing seeing her right there, the kind of difference between them. Um, yeah, that's pretty cute. Um, okay. Uh, to HQ. On to the next war already. Seems that way. Uh, business is booming. So you made yourself useful the other day, kid. Uh, come on, tell me about it. You didn't wet yourself, did you? Here. Same as always. Training at HQ. Uh, what's with her? I was convinced she'd want to tell us all about it. She was awfully quiet today. What's wrong, Gabby? You seem down. Uh, you're the one acting strange, Reiner. You're lying about something. Lying? What do you mean? I, re I already like where this is going. Like, um, I think it would be really interesting if, like, I, I don't know if Reiner would, but I think it would be really interesting if he kind of let Gabby know, like, hey, like, the people on Paradise Island, like, they aren't these, these devils or the absolute scum that, you know, you've been made out to believe they are to be, uh, for your entire life, like, they're, they're not all that, um, and there are good people over there, uh, anyway, I don't know what it's about, but all Karina seems to have figured it out. She said that ever since you came back from the island alone, it's like you've been a different person. Auntie was really worried, you know. Well, her 12-year-old son came back a middle-aged man. <laughs> of course I worried. Of course I worried her. I want you to tell, uh, tell the truth. Tell me the truth someday. Blood relatives have a much, or blood relatives have a much better chance of inheriting memories along with one of the nine titans. Uh, that's what the scientists say, right? Yeah. If I inherit the armor, then you'll probably live on inside of me, Reiner. We'll both understand even the things that are too painful to put into words. Okay, so Reiner doesn't need to tell her. Okay, I, I totally forgot that, that was also a thing because, uh, I mean, he, he uh, going back to, to um, you know, Aaron, how Krista, uh, or I should say Historia, how Historia saw, you know, Aaron's memories and then how uh Aaron was also able to see like you know the previous attack titans memories his father's um as well so yeah there'd be no doubt Gabby Gabby will know the truth eventually if she does become the next armor titan um so anyway uh so so don't worry I'm sure that if we work together we can clear a path forward for Eldia I know I just can't believe we've been summon summoned this soon. I'm still tired. Uh, talk that way and the next class of warrior candidates are going to leave you guys in the dust. Uh, you seem motivated today, Falco. I guess. If I want to protect Gabby, I'm going to have to surpass her. If anyone's inheriting the armor titan, it's me. <laughs> Look at Gabby. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I will. <laughs> That's a really good panel, man. <laughs> I just like I just like imagine her like because she was all the way with Reiner, right? Um okay, no, nah, she she was pretty close to to Falco anyway. I cuz in my mind I just pictured her like still all the way back there with Reiner and then as soon as Falco says that he's going to be the next armor tight. I just imagine her like immediately just like shooting all the way over the Falco. Like, and what did you just say? Oh, <laughs> um, that's like where my mind went to immediately. Um, okay. So we got Gilliard. Uh, good morning, Pac. Uh, Piek, what are you doing? Uh, this feels more natural for me. Did I surprise you? Just walk normal, okay? I would be so creeped out if I saw that. <laughs> um, good morning. Uh, so we're all here. <clears throat> uh, 
So I'm guessing this is a meeting between the the seven titans that we have. I guess I should say the the six, right? I don't know if my math is is entirely right there, because uh, we have we have the jaw, the beast armored. Um, we have um, that's three right there. Uh, and then we have Piek, who is four. Um, I think it might only just be four, right? Because obviously the female Titan is still on Paradis. Uh, the female attack, Colossal, those three are all on Paradis. That's seven in total. Who are the other two are missing? Um, I feel, have we... Have we even seen all nine titans? I'm I'm trying to think. Uh maybe not. Huh. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Um that's interesting. Okay, I wonder if we're gonna get the, the, the reveal of the other because there's two more titans we haven't seen yet, right? You guys might have to let me know that in the in the comments. I, I'm pretty sure when my math is correct that we've we've only seen I have to go through this again. We've only seen okay the the female. There's nine in total. We've seen the female colossal attack, the armor, the beast, um, uh, Cartman, right? And that would be six. Jaw is seven. So we've only seen seven. So we're missing two more. We haven't seen those two. Okay. I wonder if they are here in in um, uh, in Marley or not. Okay, so uh, good morning. So we are all here. Uh, it's not every day we meet in your room, War Chief. Uh, where are the army guys? They're not in this room. We're sh uh, sh uh, sharing a cup of tea, that's all. I'll get to the point. The situation is bad. Marley has emerged victorious from the resource wars of recent years, using our titans to silence any nation that would oppose us. As a result, the world's hatred of Eldians has exploded to levels only previously seen in the Imperial Era. We have served Marley in order to show our remorse for our history. We were not wrong to do so, but the voices from around the world calling for the extermination of the Eldian people have grown even louder. Uh, what is more, recent battles have made it clearer than ever that conventional weapons will outperform Titans in future wars. In other words, it will it will not be long before Eldians lose our tactical value. Uh, before Eldians lose our tactical value. Once we do, Marley's position of power will become uh, untenable. With Marley weakened, the walls that separate Eldians from the world will fall, and our continued survival will become even more uncertain. The world already says it's meaningless to speak of the human rights of Eldians. This is a threat to the existence of our race. Uh, isn't there a way for us to solve this? The only way is to finish what we started. Marley must seize the founding titan and the resources of Paradis immediately. That way Marley can maintain its power while we within, with our own hands resolve the threat to the world that is Paradis. Uh, but even if the plan to retake the founder uh, succeeds, I really don't think that will be enough to overcome the world's historic uh, and worsening hatred of the Eldians. Very good, Piek. Exactly right. <laughs> What's important is the story we tell. We need to prepare a script leading up to retaking the Founder. Um, first, we need to send the world a strong rem reminder of just how big a threat that island poses. And every story needs a narrator. It seems uh, the Tiber family will play that role for us. The keepers of the war of the Warhammer Titan. Okay, so that I am assuming is number eight. <clears throat> the Tiber family. Yes, the first family of aristocrats to oppose King Fritz in the Great Titan War a century ago. As honorary Marlians, they followed a, pol a policy of non-interference in both politics and war, but they have agreed to take action given these fears about the future of Marley and Eldia. Uh, true, the Tiber. <clears throat> the tree, the Tiber family has never once used a titan against an enemy state. And most of all, they'll have clout with other countries as a family who fought off King Fritz in the Great Titan War. The world will have to listen to us if we speak through the Tibers. 
Uh, very good, Piak. Absolutely right. <clears throat> but the Tiber family has never done their duty to protect our country. Even though they held the Warhammer Titan all this time, they've never they've lived carefree lives in big mansions on big estates while other Eldians were forged are forced into internment. Uh, isn't it a little too selfish for them to show up now and start acting like heroes? <laughs> Uh, I know how you feel, but the Tiber family is concerned about our motherland as well. But we are, if this will save our motherland of Marley, I welcome it. We warriors should work with the Tiber family and act as cornerstones in the restoration of the heroic nation of Marley. Yes, a festival will be taking place soon in Liberia. A festival? Uh, important figures and journalists from many nations will be invited and the Tiber family will make a declaration. That Paradis will be under our control within a year. The fates of Eldians and Marley ride on this strategy. We cannot tolerate another failure. This is it, man. Ah, this is it. I got I got chills, dude. Like within within a year. This this is this is like the end game, right? Um it's it's failure or I guess like win or go home, right? Like this is this is really like all roads are leading to this, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, failure is not an option. Like, everything rides on this one final, like, uh, journey to Paradise Island. Um, and I don't know, man. That's, that's really, really exciting. Um, but at the same time, here's, here's something that I just thought about that gets me even more excited. Um... Something I, I'm sure because it, it feels so logical to me, but I'm sure that they have to have this conversation at some point. Um, because I I sincerely doubt with especially with the way that season three of of Titan uh, just ended with you know uh, our characters you know kind of overlooking the sea and you know um, discovering the sea and the, and you know with us kind of being left off of like there is something on the other side of that sea um with with this little time job but three years right uh i sincerely doubt that they have been sitting you know twiddling their thumbs for all this time uh without you know here's what i'm trying to say is i there's i, I wonder if they have not like even thought about the possibility of the you know people from paradise island coming over to to uh the mainland at some point because so thus far they haven't really given that much credence uh to that possibility like they they've been kind of gun ho on like you know we we're going over there right but like what if they beat you guys to the punch first and they invade first you know you know right like that that's that's totally a possibility um but then again, I would have to assume this is just complete speculation. I, in my mind, I, I feel like the forces on Paradis are way smaller than you know what you know the people on the homeland are, are capable of. So if anything, it's not gonna be. Again, this is just like just theories and stuff like that. It's not gonna be like a full frontal like war in my mind. I, if anything, it would have to be more like a low key kind of like uh, stealthy kind of like. Like, hey, we're, we're sending in, like, a small group of trusted, um, you know, uh, Survey Corps people, you know, spearheaded by, by Levi, of course, right? And you get Mikasa and, and Aaron, and I feel like you, you can leave Armin behind, right? Because to, I, I don't know if you, would, if you would bring the attack and the Colossal Titan overseas, right? Like, to me... I, I, would, I would feel safer if you leave one of them behind, but I don't know. I, I think it would be a really cool idea if you, you sent a little small force like that uh, to scout it out, and, and I don't know. Um, I guess the whole point of me just saying all that is just, like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like they also have to account for the fact that, hey, like, it's been three years. Like, what if they are, you know, working on, on some way to to get over there you know something like that i don't know because so i think that would be really really cool because i feel like it is the next logical step for for this manga for our main characters to essentially experience a brand new world and go over there i would love to see that um 
I was sorry for that tangent, but it was just it was just kind of like in my head, and I wanted to get it out. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, so let us once again bring our hearts and minds together for the future of Eldians in our motherland, Marley. Uh, Galliard seems a little unhappy about it, but he's the type who always sticks to his orders. If this is all he's saying in private, it shouldn't be a problem. Um... I just wish that Zeke hadn't thrown that uh, comment in, huh? Not in this room, huh? Before a major operation begins, there is always an ideological checkup, just like they did back then. So I'm going to have to go back to that island and see Gabby. Even even with Falco's new resolve, like Gabby is still like coming out on top. So again, man, that's that just goes to show like Gabby is just like like on an, on another level, right? Uh compared to, to her peers. Um Dude <laughs> I was not expecting like going from like an uh, uh like an internal monologue from, from Reiner, you know, him thinking like I gotta go back to that island and then immediately flipping to a page of the female Titan and the armor Titan. And like you're getting my hopes up, man. Like seeing seeing Annie there, you're getting my hopes up. It's been it's been way too long. Like I need I need to see her again, like soon. Um Wonderful. They turned out even better than expected. The female Titan is it's an all-purpose unit capable in every area. Uh, in addition to high mobility and endurance, the Titan's hardening abil abilities combined with uh, Leonhardt's martial ability make for an incredible destructive force. Uh, she's also able to summon pure Titans, uh, though her range is limited. Uh, as you can see, the Armored Titan is one that specializes in hardening abilities. One slam from that body should be able to destroy both walls and gates. As a Titan who will act as Marley's shield and absorb attacks well, Bronze Stoic Nature fits the role. <clears throat> uh, the Jaw Titan is an assault unit. Its small size makes it the swiftest of all. Uh, its powerful claws and jaws uh, can crush just about anything. We have entrusted it to the quick-witted Marcel. <clears throat> uh, the Beast Titan is the same as ever. It's a bit larger than the others, but that's far from all. It's pitching assault. Is an unprecedented, awe-inspiring weapon. Okay. Uh, but most impressive is the power hidden in its blood. The boy wonder has given us a miracle. Uh, the cart titan with its... Okay, so I need to... The cart titan is, is what I... I think I called it Cartman or something like that. Um, but okay, the cart titan. Uh, with its unusual high endurance is well suited to long missions. Uh, this allows us to equip it with arrangements expanding the variety of uh, tactics at our disposal. Giving it to Piek who shows strong judgment is surely the right move. Um... I, I really, I actually really dig like kind of the thought process of like uh, picking uh you know why they chose you know annie to be the female why they chose piek or why piek would be you know a, a good candidate for uh the cart titan um things like that uh, i think it's really really interesting um i guess like another question is we did see uh the cart titan uh talk or communicate with with zeke um and we obviously we have seen Zeke, uh, you know, in his Beast Titan form, uh, be able to talk as well. Uh, I don't. For I, I'm like I, I will put money on it. We've never seen the Colossal Titan talk. I don't think we ever have. Um, Annie in in her form, I don't think we ever have either. Uh, and Reiner, I don't think we ever have either. So I like I, I'm genuinely curious. Is, is um. 
is that something that like all nine titans are are capable because we haven't actually now that i think about it i don't think we've ever seen Aaron communicate in titan form as well so is that something only limited to like a select few of the nine titans or is that something that they all can do that they just haven't done for whatever reason um not too sure about that uh, and the Colossus Titan. Jeez. It is a god of destruction. Can you... Like... Like, uh... Bert Holtz, like... How, how old was he? I think he was, like, probably, like, 10 years old or something like that. Can you imagine giving that sort of power? Like, literally the power of a god. To, to a little kid like that? Like... That's insane. Um, anyway, it almost makes me feel sorry for those island devils. Uh, that thing is going to show up one day out of nowhere and start killing them. Yes, our new warrior unit is more powerful than it was in the past. Training them since infancy has paid off. But I have doubts about the army's decision. Entrusting the plan to retake the founder to four children, it doesn't seem sane to me. Oh? But those very children just now crush an entire nation before our eyes. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Beast, Cartman, you are needed to ho uh, at home to uh, deter enemy nations. You will not participate in this mission. Uh, and so the plan to retake the Founder will be carried out by the Jaw, Armor, Colossus, and Female Titans. Marcel, Berthold, Annie, Reiner. We leave this to you. Um, it doesn't make sense. You're at the bottom of the group. Why would they pick you? What did you uh what did you do to get picked? Doesn't this just mean it was you at the bottom, Pac? <laughs> you little porco, are you disobeying the army's orders? Uh sorry, Reiner. Um, man, dude, and they're, they're all, like, ba yeah, basically, like, a, like, a parade being put on for them as, as, I mean, it makes sense why, why the aliens would, would be, you know, you know, happy about this, because it's, like, um, man, I don't even know how, how I'd say it, but, like, for them, I, I'm pretty sure it's, like, uh, like, like an honorable, like, you know, thing that they're doing. It's like, um, you know, people from, from, you know, like, you know, LD, actual Eldians going to, to, you know, fight in the name of, of Marley and, and Eldia. So like for the people of, El uh, Eldia, like, I'm, I'm sure that has to be like, you know, something very, very like, like emotional for, for all of those people. Um, Especially with everything that they've gone through, like any, any sort of like good, uh, I don't want to say like good news. What's the word I'm looking for? But like, um, let's just go with good news, but like any sort of like, uh, I guess just like positive positivity, like towards the Eldians, uh, like they, they need as much positivity and good goodwill is what I was trying to say. They need as much goodwill as possible. So I almost feel like it's like, you know, all the people cheering like, yeah, like, you know, you know, make us proud. Like you guys better do right by us. Like we need, we need this right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, man. Um, and then you got Ryder's aunt or, or Ryder's mom crying. Um, Ryder's dad as well. <clears throat> wonder what he's gonna say uh i'm right aren't i mom worked in these barracks before i was born uh that's where you met mom where you met uh karina braun i saw your face uh and thought it might be you look see mom and i have become honorary marlians uh we are even able to walk freely outside of the wall if we ask permission you and mom could even live together are you kidding me? 
That woman told you to come here, didn't she? So she, uh, so she could get revenge on me. Uh, damn it. Is she forced her kid to become a warrior all for that? If they look into your origins, my family is done for. You're trying to get me hanged, aren't you? Well, I'm going to run from you as hard as I can. You and your mother, the two of you Eldian devils. Whoa. So his, did we, did we know that before? That his dad is, uh, is like a full Marleyan? Wow. That sucks. Uh, wait. Reiner, are you okay? Oh, right. It's already time to go. That's so, that's so sad, too, because, like, Reiner, like, I'm pretty sure we did, we don't, we didn't know about that in the last chapter. Um, because, yeah, I'm pretty sure, because, like, I mean, he's doing this in the first place, you know, to, to get, like, he wanted to bring his mom and his, and his father, like, back together, right? Uh, I think that was stated in, in the last chapter. But, like, yeah, that's, that's pretty sad, because he is doing all this for, uh, his, his mom, and, um, I don't know, it's kind of sad, like, him, like, going up to his dad and, like, showing, like, the little armband and, like, hey, like, I, I, I can become, like, a, like an honorary, like, Marleyan. Um, he, like, trying to be, like, you know, like, I, I, I'm, I finally have the opportunity to be, like, you know, something that, that you are, right? Because you're, you're a Marleyan, like, I, I can be just like you, too. And, and his dad just, like, automatically just, like, pushes that idea out of the way, like, he only sees Reiner and, and his mom as strictly Eldians, and you guys will never be uh, true Marleyans, right? Uh, so that's that's really sad. Like little Reiner showing the armband, like, hey, like I, I can I can be a real Marleyan too. But his dad's just like, you guys will never be that. Um, anyway, so I know you'll be able to complete your mission, and I'm sure your father is praying for your success too. Yeah. Our chosen Eldian warriors, save us all from those island devils. Alright. Uh, that's right. It doesn't matter if I don't have a father. I'm a chosen warrior entrusted with the armored titan. Uh, I'll save everyone from the island devils. And become a hero to the world. This is the border to heaven. Move north once the sun sets. From there, just follow the plan. The Marleyan army will anchor, anchor here on the full moon. Remember that as you carry out the plan to retake the founder. Uh, yes, sir. Now, carry out your mission. Come back with the founder. All of you. Man. Again, I know I know that they have been raised for, for, for this. Like, they've been nurtured. Um, I guess you could almost say, like, they've, like, soldiers since, since birth, right? Um, but still, like, to put, this is, like, a monumental task to put on the shoulders of four kids. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. <clears throat> uh, I guess we can't cover much ground at night, huh? Don't worry about it. Uh, it was overcast. I'm glad we didn't run into any titans. But is the king of the walls really not going to use the founding titan even if the walls are destroyed? Why would you bring up that now, Bert Holt? Marley's re research is reliable. Yes, there's no, or there's no going back now. We're going to the wall tomorrow and... What is it? Wait, don't tell me you're feeling hesitant to kill those island devils. Have you forgotten what they did to uh, Marley and us? Uh, these are descendants of devils who once trampled over the world and turned into turned it into a living hell. The world still lives in fear of them. Uh, we are here to represent that world. Chosen warriors meant to judge them for their actions. Sorry, Reiner. You see, you weren't supposed to be chosen as a warrior in the first place, but... I influenced the army's decision by putting you on a pedestal and making my little brother look bad. Huh? I wanted to protect my brother. I'm sorry, Ryder. Whoa. Why are you apologizing? Uh, 
I'm a chosen warrior entrusted with the armored titan. I'm going to punish the island devils and become the hero who saves everyone. What? I love like, uh, dude, this, this manga, dude. Oh my god, I just love how everything just like comes in in like full circle. It feels like, like, like everything is just like so deliberate. Like I feel like in in stories, a lot of stories that just doesn't happen a, a lot, right? Um. So yeah, like things that happen like all the way back in like chapter, like I'm just throwing out like a random number, like say like chapter like 42 or something like that like comes all the way back in you know chapter 95 and it all connects and it all makes sense and it's 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 really great man I, um <clears throat> okay so and that's the end of chapter two so what what did they do with with your mirror at this point um Obviously, we know, like, what becomes of, of Ymir eventually, um, but, man, so, Marcel said, I mean, pushing Reiner out of the way before Ymir got him, um, I am a chosen warrior entrusted with the armor titan, I'm going to punish the island devils and become the hero who saves everyone, um, yeah, I guess I guess just like in that in in these last two pages, like what I would obviously have to read the next chapter, but like what 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 did they do with Ymir at this point? Because, like, I mean Ymir obviously just got like got her snack, but you would have to think that she she's still lingering around in the area in Titan form or what or. I, I, I'm guessing the only explanation as to why, you know, Reiner didn't, you know, arm her up and kill Ymir, you know, right on the spot, right right here, right now. I'm guessing maybe that uh, once Ymir ate Marcel, she, um, you know, obtained, uh, obtained his power and then she kind of, like, reverted back to, to human form, kind of like how... Um, like Armin did when he took uh, Bert Holt's Colossal Titan power. I'm guessing that could be it. And her reverting back down to, to human form, um, you know, that would explain why they didn't they didn't feel the need to kill her right then and there. Um, also because I mean she also does now have one of the power one of the nine uh, powers of the of the nine Titans. Uh, so that, like, immediately makes her valuable and, like, sort of unkillable, I would think. Um, so that probably could have been another decision by the kids. Um, so I wonder if they, if, like, knowing this, that, like, hey, we, we like, she, she is now important because she has one of the power of the, of, of the nine. Uh, so I, I'm curious, like, did they just take, Ymir with them to to the walls um I guess that would that would make sense right uh this is just pure speculation you guys can tell me if I'm wrong if I'm close or anything like, like that down in the comments below um that's interesting and then also I guess just like learning about um because I mean even in this chapter and I like how it mirrors like what's happening with with Gabby and Falco and kind of the struggle between there uh, where obviously Reiner doesn't want to subjugate Gabby to, you know, the, the hardships of uh, what naturally will happen if you become uh, a warrior, if you become, you know, the next Armored Titan. You know, he doesn't want to put her through that. Um, and it's kind of like like a, like a, a mirror of, of um, Marcel and, and uh, Gilliard or, or Galliard. Uh, even though, you know, uh, uh, Galliard, uh, is already, you know, the, the, the jaw titan, or he's already, you know, a warrior, right? Um, yeah, so, like, even though he's, he's already, uh, a warrior, I still find it interesting that, like, <clears throat> you know, he pleaded with, uh, you know, 
kind of the higher ups that hey no like Ryder Ryder would be a better fit for for this mission instead of instead of him uh to to protect uh you know Galliard I, I thought was was pretty cool um but also again it also feels like the hits just keep on coming for for Reiner because like I bet you Reiner like because we got a, a glimpse of it in in the previous volume where like he wasn't particularly like the best at, at anything right like he was always being one-upped by you know the the others in in the group um at least like in, in training and stuff like that um like he he was he was like basically like dead last in, in like everything right um so then to finally come into this moment where they're picking you know the, the people who are actually going to go to paradise island um and they call his name to join Bert Holt, Annie, and Marcel. He's probably thinking like, "Wow, like I, I, I must have been, you know, they must think highly of me or, or something like that, right?" Um, but then to to find out that no, it was just Marcel, you know, kind of like talking you up to to prevent his brother from being sent over there instead, and you know. Uh, just telling, you know, the higher ups, uh, oh, a writer is so, so good at, at X, Y, and Z, when in reality, it was just, um, uh, it was, it was just exactly that. It was just Marcel saying all those things, uh, to, to get you to go to Paradise Island instead of, uh, Galliard. It's, it's kind of a little bit messed up, uh, for, for Reiner. I totally understand why Marcel would want to do that to, to spare his brother. I mean, it's the first time that they're going up to Paradise Island. They don't know what they're gonna find over there. They don't know. They don't know what to expect over there. So, Marcel's point of view totally understandable. Why you know like he could die, right? So totally understandable why Marcel didn't want you know Gallier to go over there. Uh, I mean, like what happened to Marcel? <laughs> like, um, so totally understandable. Uh, in uh, to uh, at his point for sure. Um. But I feel bad for Reiner, man. And then, and then just like again, like the hints just keep coming for Reiner. Uh, so you had that stuff with him and Marcel. And then at the end of this chapter, Marcel pushing Reiner out of the way, uh, sacrificing himself for for Reiner. Um, yeah, come to think of it, man, like Reiner just can't catch a break, man. <laughs> Seriously. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this chapter, man. Uh, again, another long reaction, man. Like. I thought I thought I could bust out these or pump out these these reactions and like like twenty five minute videos or stuff like that, but these Attack on Titans really like require like a lot of like discussion and, and I, I I enjoy it obviously, but like yeah I I hope it's okay because I I talk a lot but it's it's whatever man, uh, but yeah that's that's pretty much it guys for this chapter uh, like comment and subscribe for more Titan and I'll see you guys for chapter ninety six I think or ninety seven uh, whatever is next we'll be there so yeah peace.